Good morning. So I got myself a little tripod so that I can do the videos and I've got my hands free, which I'm so excited about. Um, so I had my little um, US shipment in this week, yesterday. So I've um, got them all here. So I wanted to share with you what's here. So Madame Palmita's Book of Candle Magic. This is just beautiful, this book. It's, it's everything that you need to know about creating ma uh, magic with your candles and more. So definitely a book if you're into that sort of thing, making magic. So it's $38 that one. Right, next one is the Astral Tarot is back in by Nancy Hendrickson. And I still haven't read this one, but it's definitely on my list to read. And learning about the ancestors in tarot. It's a nice big book. Oh, I can't wait to read that one. I've been reading so much lately. Another, whoopsie, I've got, I've got a hairy top on today. <laughs> Another one that's new in is the Modern Guide to Meditation Beads. So, just not any images, just text about meditation beads. So that's a little beautiful little book. This is another new one that's in. The Witch's Book of Potions, The Power of Bubbling Brews, Simmering Infusions, and Magic Elixirs. Elixirs. So 90 plus recipes for everyday intention from healing to prosperity. And that's another little nice little book that has lots of spells in. It talks about the when to do it and all sorts of stuff. It's a great little one. My, one of my favourite books, Rise, Sister, Rise, by Rebecca Campbell, is back in. I think everyone should read this book. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, The Ultimate Guide to the Right Away Tarot. And it's all about all the symbols. So they take an image and tell you why all the different things are there. It's such a good book if you really want to study why, what all the symbols are. Definitely one if you want to learn that. Okay, the next pile. Sigil Witchery. This is another awesome book if you want to learn if you're learning about sigils and how to use them. Definitely one of the um, most popular books to go out the door. Okay. Psychic Witch. I've been waiting for this one for ages. I've got a lots like got a few this time because it just goes so fast it's a really good book if you want to learn meditation magic manifestation and it's just got so much good information in there definitely one of my best sellers another one that's finally here is um t susan chan's tarot deciphered and this is a big fat book on all the symbols and oh, look at that I've got her 36 degrees coming as well but um definitely I've got her other one on the bookshelf tarot correspondence as well beautiful 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 teacher okay so we'll start with the the decks that are come back in so the star tarot is back in the Lines Rider, and we've also got the Mini Lines Rider to the back in, and the Maori Oracle. I haven't had this one in for a wee while, so I thought, right, get that back in. Polly's deck, it's gorgeous. If you haven't seen it, go on the website and have a look at the, the video. Okay, we've got back in all my tins. We've got Making Magic with all the beautiful sigils the mini everyday witch tarot <gasps> the everyday tarot that's another really popular one just with all the 
very basic but popular. The right away, the radiant right away terror. Morgan Greer terror in a tin. The gummy bear terror is back in, and the white sage terror is back in. Now I have a new deck in by by Teresa who did this one called the Land Sky Oracle, and they're very the images go well together but this one is um, an oracle to learn about yoga in um, 49 cards it's stunning I'm going to go through them in a minute and show you them but yes if you have this deck and you like it then oh or if you're into yoga highly recommend that one but I'll go through that one soon okay what else is back in all right the alley cute oh why can't I anyway this one's back in haven't had that one for ages it's a nice deep dark deck book your lights back in and yay this one and I've also got his um what's it dreamscape dream something or other his oracle deck that goes with this one is in on order as well at the moment so if you haven't this one's just gorgeous and his oracle deck's gorgeous as well okay so the new cards that have come in might as well start with these okay oh hello eddie right so we'll just go through the the land sky so you get this little cards a little card with the, the eight limbs of yoga Evie <laughs> Evie stop please okay just try and get that so they go on there the fear of death Beautiful. Mm. Ibi, stop doing that. What is it with cats that they want to just chew everything? Highlight. I love that light. Ah, oh, aren't they beautiful? Carly. The ego. Balance life. Chimes. So this is, yeah, as you can see, it's beautiful and I just want to go through the whole lot. But I have like a lot of new decks in. So that one comes with comes with this little spread as well. Oh no, that's the, the eight limbs of yoga. But I'm sure you could lay cards on on that for enlightenment meditation concentration turning inward honor others honor yourself physical posture and breath work and a little book that is i haven't even opened yet but it's got all the i can't wait to sit down with this one i'm really looking forward to working with this deck it just feels very much like me at the moment right so that's the land sky oracle by Teresa hutch okay oh right we'll talk about the lunar soul this one i've put quite a few of these sticks because i just think they're stunning look at that isn't it gorgeous I love the sun so when this one was coming out I was like yeah this is a bit of me <laughs> in the um the color palette is just it's so cheery there's lots and lots and lots of stuff going on in them which is quite nice sometimes when you um been reading tarot it's nice to 
to find one with some different different images, different things to focus on. These are just oh I've been waiting for these. Look at that. She's got her little and the yin yang. <laughs> Anyway, so they're in stock. I've got quite a good pile of those ones. What's the back look like? There we go. So they're not reversible. I did, there's a good, I'm sure that I posted a really good video on the website explaining these cards. I'll go and I'll just double check though, because it tells you why all those things are there like that. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you get just beautiful colors, lots, <laughs> lots of expression. They're just it look, it's just a fun deck. Look at that! How beautiful is that? Pastel colors. All right, and yeah, duality. Two different, two different cards in there as well. That cat. What are you doing, Abby? Oh, here she comes. Hello. <laughs> and you get a nice book as well, which is full of colour. Oh, some gentle tips how to read the cards. So you get a good a good page for the um, the major arcana, and then just little paragraphs for each of the minor arcana. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I tell you, I've got so many decks in this week, it's like, where do I start? But this one is just stunning. Oopsie. Okay, so the next one I'm going to talk about is... Let me do the Field Tarot. So this is a little, a new one by Hannah Elizabeth Fofan. Fofana and it comes in this by US Games this beautiful it's got quite a oh yes rest so ooh, it's got a chunky little book lots of oh, and these are um what would you say collage Very peaceful. It sort of reminds me of the spacious tarot a little bit, where he's given you lots of, but not just having the the place that you put in, but just lots of space to 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 use. Mm. So they're really peaceful and gentle. If you like numerology, I think you'd like this deck. It's very pippy, not too much. <sighs> Beautiful. Mm. Nice. Okay. So the next ones that I'll talk about, oh they've got a nice back too, okay, is the new chapter tarot, this is another Illum Illuminal 11, look at that box, isn't it beautiful, and this one's very fluffy, fluffy, which you'll see. Nice basic box. Okay, you get a good chunky little, a chunky little book like they do. So beautiful. I'm studying Thoth at the moment, so I'm quite looking forward to look at that. Oh, the colours are just stunning. If you like bright colours like me. 
Look at that. I'm sure that's on the, the new... Oh, what's it called? The tarot box. That, the rose. There's something special about that rose. So the teacher instead of the hierophant. I like that. I like that. The lovers. Tying of the ribbons. Ah, oh, yeah. Mmm. The hermit. I like that you can't tell if it's a man or a woman. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I don't get, I'm not sure about that one, though. I have to, to have to check that one out. The devil. The tower. What's that white image? That's out of it. I have to check that out, too. Oh, look at that star. Hmm. Yes, very frothy. There it is again. Mm. Oh, I like that. Papel. Oh, the backs, the backs are. Mm. I saw one of them on the side of the road the other day and Sean was like, no, we don't get them down here. I was like, it was definitely. Oh, that's just beautiful. <gasps> oh, okay. I'll just skip through some others to get there. But Oh, this is gorgeous. I knew this was going to be a gorgeous deck. Oh, look at her. <sighs> right. I could be here all day if I just drool all over these cards <laughs> i also oh yes right oh there's a gratitude and a invocation card as well oh i like that okay so that's the new chapter tarot oh how exciting that's just stunning <laughs> okay my catherine briggs what good job woman they're awesome Okay, uh, another one, that I, oh, this one's a bit special, is Tarot of the Mystical Moments. I have been waiting for this, like, all year, because um, I will get them. This is one of my favourite Oracle decks, Oracle of the Mystical Moments, because this, ladies artwork it's just amazing and oh, I love it so when I found out that she was doing a tarot deck I was so excited and these are it's weird because this is a tarot size deck and it's matte this is an oracle size and it's glossy so I wonder if she'll put out a, a different version so that they fit together because that would be really nice start with the three of swords ha huh. as you can see i have already had a little look through these ones because i just couldn't help myself <sighs> stunning 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 There's that blooming rose again. Oh, it's in my. Um, I'm gonna have to go and remember what. I know I read something about the the rose and the. I want to say one of the occults. Anyway, I can't remember which one it was. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway. If you want to see, you can see the whole lot of them on the website and the walkthrough that I put on. Oh, I just love that. That's on the box. Okay, so that one's pretty bloody special. 
Oh yeah, and the, they had um, a king, a woman king, and a man king, which I thought was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Beautiful gilded. I think the backs are the same as those ones. Beautiful. Anyway, that's that one. You get a nice by US game, so you get a good good guidebook. Just awesome. Before I even could talk about that, one already went out the out the door. Okay, I'm gonna talk about Pure Magic. I this is the lady who did the um, encyclopedia of 500 spells. Now, I already, I haven't opened one yet because I sold them before I, they even came. But I've ordered some more, so they should be here tomorrow. Okay. I think that's one, two, three, four... One, two, three, four, five, I think I had, oh, six, I think I had about, oh yeah, seven, seven new decks this week. Wow. So there's definitely be something for someone. Ooh. Lovely. Oh, that's a big fat book. Look at that. Hmm. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, I might have to get. I might have to double my order of those ones. Holy moly, that's some good information there. Oh, the forward is by that chicky. Okay. Right. Oh, it starts off with ancestors. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the backs look like? Ah, oh, yeah, that's gorgeous with the crows on it. Oh, gnomes. <laughs> Quick tear. That's who I thought was in that death card before. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, I can't wait to. Oh, these are more me. These are my cup of tea. A little bit more into. Oh, yeah. Bridget. Mm. Oh. Nice. Oh, I can't wait to work with those. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that's a new deck in. So, yeah, tomorrow hopefully I should have more in stock. And another new deck that is in is... The Inversion Tarot. This is a um, pip deck, and I really like it. It's um, it's the Marseille in black and white, and it's the other way. They're black and negative and positive. Isn't it gorgeous? <gasps> yeah. So if you like. I love my numerology. I think that's the first thing that I really started studying. So Pip Dex and me, we get on well. Mm. Oh, I just love them. So the cups, got the swords, pentacles, and the wands. You get horsemen. Page, horsemen, queen, and kings. So that's another one in. And you get a little white book. It's by um, another US Games. And a tin. Don't you love the tin ones? I'm a little bit. They're great because you can just take them with you. Okay, so some other ones that I want to talk about. Is the Shaman's Dream Oracle because that one came in this week and I haven't showed it. And oh yeah, right, and it's gorgeous. 
Colette Baron Reed and Alberto uh, Alberto Villarón Villarón do whatever. <laughs> and it comes in a beautiful, beautiful book. It's well produced. It's got a big fat, fat book. And these cards are just divine. They really are. Her last deck, I wasn't that really that um, that impressed with because, oh. but this one, this one is more me. I think it's because it's got that little bit of shaman, shaman energy to it. Hmm. And the backs. Keep seeing that thing in London with all the um the bricks and the the oval thingies. Mm. Right, so yeah, if you want to see all of them, you can go to the website and check them all out. That's another new deck in. So they all come in at once, aren't they? We're all sacred dreamers, dreaming the world into being. Beautiful. Okay, another new one that's come in that I haven't talked about is Nick Bantock's The Archo the Archo the Archeo The Archetypes cards. And these uh this guy, he's he's a really good artist and he's put out some really cool books. Oh, I obviously haven't even looked in my book. That's, if you like his style of art, you have to get them. <laughs> if you're a fan of his, just get them. And if you like archetypal cards, which I do, then get them as well. But they're definitely, look at that, just beautiful big book. Mm, the Inventor. Leonardo, the innocent. <laughs> That's so cool. Very cool. So they're beautiful big cards. The moon cat, the midwife, magician, the alchemist. Mm. Right, so that's that one, and I, I'm just going to go a little flick through the last one, which is the Dragon Wisdom Oracle. This is really cute. Me and Jacko were playing with it the other day, and he loved it. It's got a nice book full of stuff. Yeah, and I th I'm, I th I'm not sure if it was made for kids but definitely he's nine and he just loved it we had a great time with it i feel like dragons awesome mm. yeah so there's i think there's 44, I want to say 44, I'm not sure, let's have a look, doesn't say, but in a, in a traditions print, so it's got a nice big book, yeah, so I think that one's about 35, you know, take a, leave a couple of dollars, so, yeah, beautiful, beautiful bright colours and nice to, nice to use with the kids. So, that's it. That's my pile of goodies that I've got to put away now. If you need anything, oh no, there's one more. <laughs> I lied. Okay. White Newman Sacred Animal Tarot. This is, this is the last one. The last one, and 
These are gorgeous. I'm having, I've been playing with these ones all week and they are just stunning. They're not what I thought they were going to be. You get a nice, nice book like, like you get. I love the bags. There's that herring again. Oh, I'm going to have to figure out why, they, why they're all putting that one on. But these ones are quite pixelated. I don't know if you can see them. And they've got, there's a couple in there that I thought, whoa, that's pretty freaky. I love that one. But they've got a real gentle, playful energy to them. And they're really nice to read with. The backs, oh yeah, I did show that. I think there was yes, the white Newman and the black Newman the extra cards that are in there as well. There's some different takes on them, which I thought was quite good. I like that one. <laughs> So yeah, that's another one that's in. So definitely got some good selections of new cards for you to check out. I love that one too. Yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, yeah, right. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Oh my goodness, the weather is so perfect. We had our first frost here today, which was always a bit sad, but never mind. Right, we'll catch you soon. Bye.